right here and plays the saxophone. Brian Brevin is serving this year as drum major of the band. Leah Holcomb is the daughter of Danny and Gayla Holcomb. She has been a member of the band for eight years and plays the clarinet. Leah has been a majorette for four years, head majorette for two years, and also serves as secretary treasurer of the band. Jennifer Leaf is the daughter of Don and Carol Leaf. She has been a member of the band for eight years and plays the clarinet. Jennifer has been a member of the Color Guard for four years and is serving this year as Color Guard Captain. Arnhild Oma is an exchange student from Norway. Her host family is Tony and Sharon Childress. Arnhild has played the clarinet for seven years and will be a member of the Crossville Band for this year while she is, is here as an exchange student. Siobhan Pearson is the daughter of Hank Pearson and Jackie and Patricia McDill. She has been a member of the band for five years and plays flute. Siobhan has been a member of the Color Guard for two years. Genevieve Smith is the daughter of Billy and Charlotte Smith. She has been a member of the band for eight years and plays the saxophone. Genevieve serves as saxophone section leader, vice president of the band, and is serving this year as assistant drum major. Jonathan Smith is the son of Randy and Terry Smith. He has been a member of the band for eight years. Jonathan plays the quads in the percussion section. Nicole Willoughby is the daughter of Bobby and Judy Willoughby. She has been a member of the band for eight years and plays the clarinet. She serves as flute and clarinet section leader and is serving this year as band captain. We would like to introduce the senior cheerleaders. Amber Dobbins is the daughter of Ronnie and Debbie Dobbins. She has been a cheerleader for one year. Brandy Duckett is the daughter of Kim Duckett and Veronica Smith. She's been a cheerleader for one year. Tara Harris is the daughter of David and June Harris. She's been a cheerleader for three years. Now the 1986 senior football player, number 10, Dustin Powell. He's the son of Mark and Lisa Powell. He has played for three years. He is a receiver and a cornerback. Josh Wallace, number 11, is the son of Thomas Wallace and Deborah Kirby. He has played for three years. He is a quarterback and cornerback. Number 21, David Bowman is the son of Kenny and Lynn Bowman. He has played for three years as a tight end and outside linebacker. Number 34, Corey Dyrempel is the son of Tony and Vicky Dyrempel. He has played for three years as fullback and inside linebacker. Number 42, Mackie Wade is the son of Mike and Janie Wade. He has played for three years as tailback and free safety. Number 44, Mark Johnson is the son of Jim and Ann Johnson. He has played for three years as fullback and inside linebacker. Number 52, Joey Scott is the son of Frank and Linda Scott. He has played for two years as guard and defensive tackle. Number 
Number 54, Harley Webb, and his son is Cotton and Elaine Webb. He's a three-year player at right defensive tackle. Number 55, Dusty Darnell is the son of Jerry and one's a Darnell. He has played for three years at left defensive tackle. Number 65, Jason Cash is the son of Mike and Brenda Cash. He has played for three years as offensive tackle. Number 66, Bo Watkins is the son of Deborah Watkins and grandson of Dennis Hicks. He has played for three years as defensive tackle. Number 72, Justin Bowen is the son of Floyd and Dorothy Bowen. He has played for three years at tackle. Number 78, Jason Blanks is the son of Darrell and Darlene Blanks. He has played for two years as offensive guard. Number 82, Jamie Gaines is the son of Ray and Sheriff. He has played for three years as outside linebacker. Let's show our appreciation. Give all these seniors a great big hand. We thank all of them. Now, would everyone please stand for the playing of the gospel alma mater?
Ten years ago, the 1986 Crossville High School Lions accomplished something that had never been done before in our school's history. On December the 9th, 1986, after an amazing 10-0 season and four exciting playoff victories, Crossville faced Elba in the 3A state finals. No one who was there will ever forget the thrill of that victory and the pride we felt in our school, our community, and most of all, our team. We would like to take this opportunity to welcome Coach Hill and the 1986 3A state champs back home. We are happy that you could be here to make this homecoming for a very special one from all of us. Thank you from all the fans and the people in this community. As we call your name out, would you please step forward and remain standing there. This is the 1986 state champ, starting with Jeff Bruce, Brent Cotton, Brian Adams, Edward Beavers, John Hawkins, Brad Priest, Randy Peppers, Jay Eason, Tim Rigsby, Tim Williams, Michael Harper, Dunny Stevens, Dennis Gardner, David McCormick, Larry Bowling, Greg Edge, Paul McCormick, Mitchell Mays, Darrell Ross, Bob Johnston, Rodney White, Kevin Williams, Ricky Crowley, Mike Smith, Thomas Brown, Shane Carroll, Kip Martin, Greg Smith, Kyle Croft, Gary Bowling, Keith Shambly, Kevin Kidd, Mark Haney, Stacey Williams, James Shuffleberger, Rodney Davis, John Smith, Todd Willoughby, Mike Saint, Kent Jones, Scott Cobo. The coaches, the coaches are Coach Roger Hill, head coach, assistants, Jerry Rice, Harold Bobo, Herman Biddinger, Kent Bowling. Managers, hold on, we got to them all. The managers are Thomas Disney, Jared Hogan, Jody Harper, Jake Hibbs, Josh Hibbs, Chris Colgrove. Cheerleaders, Meredith Peak Bowling, Janet Cobb and Gardner, Penny Dunlap Stancil, Kim Hunt Bryant, Tracy Jones Gildam, Jennifer Robinson Willoughby, Pam Roden Reagans, Stephanie Gardner Heisley. Team Physician, Dr. Raymond Upper. Team Chaplain, Roger Watkins. Principal, M.L. Owens. Now let's give all of them a great big hand and say a thank you to all of you.
there will be standard numbers prints across the high school that are available near the pass gate. If you're interested, see Susan, Suzanne Van. They're twenty-five dollars each. <laughs> and welcome into the Crossville High School Lions football homecoming 1996. We're here at Crossville's Memorial Stadium for homecoming festivities ball game and all the shindigs that goes along with homecoming. We've just had a, a great introduction with a 1986 state championship team being introduced out on the field. Just about all of them uh, were here. Welcome in my broadcast partner, Mike Bobo. How you doing tonight, Mike? Doing fine, Mars. How we doing? Oh, we're doing great. Well, we've got a fine night for football tonight. We um, have a, uh, a big matchup between the Crossville Lions and the Sardis Lions. One of these Lions are going to come away a winner tonight. I believe a line will win tonight, Mark. Let's see if we can get into the uh, end of the lineups. Well, it's a beautiful night, ain't it, Mark? It sure is. Good shot of the victory line. Crossville Lions coming right out of the big line down there on the, on the paperwork board. Got a big crowd as usual, Morris. Of course, homecoming brings out a lot of good people. You know, it we sure got uh, a lot of people here. Let's go over the Lions' offense, starting at number ten. Uh, starting number ten, Dustin Powell be split in. Number eleven be Josh Wallace be quarterback. At tight end, not tight end. That ought to be a tackle, I guess. Uh, no yeah, tight end. Tight yeah, he's end. Yeah. tight end. Yeah, he's playing tight end. Just Bowman's out. Dusty Darnell, fifty-five. Corey Dyrimple will be your fullback. Number thirty-four. Your flanker will be Todd Harper, 35, at number 42, Mikey Wade will be your halfback tonight. Justin Boland will be one tackle, number 72. Number 50, Patrick Cagle will be at one guard. Number 51, Luke Peake will be center. Number 52, Joy Scott will be at the other guard. And number 65, Jason Cash will be on the other side at tackle. The Lions defense consists of number 11, Josh Wallace at one cornerback. Number 42, Mikey Wade at free safety. Number 22, Stephen Moreland at the other cornerback. Number 40, Tex Martin at outside linebacker. Number 34, Corey Dyrimple at middle linebacker. Mark Johnson, number 44, at other middle linebacker. Number 80, Zach Wallace at outside linebacker. And the uh, defensive line be number 50, Patrick Cagle. Number 54, Harley Webb. Number 55, Dusty Darnell. Number 84, Richie Andrews. And that wraps up the defense. And looks like the Crossville captains are walking out on the field to meet the Sardis Lions captains. And it looks like that's the uh, host of seniors this year for Crossville. Yeah, it seems like that's been a tradition over the years, Morris. The seniors, uh, always uh, all seniors being captain here on uh, homecoming. Of course, they only let uh, they only let two go out uh, actually talk, you know, or as two's always going out. Number 11, Josh out. Wallace going out. One captain. 52. Joey Scott. Going out of the other. We got a chance to talk with Joey Scott. Mikey Wade before the ball game. Hope we'll have a chance to put their interviews on the tape. Good perspectives from both of them. Captains on this senior team this time. As they're out there on the field doing the uh, toy cost introduction, let me right quickly go over some halftime, not halftime, but uh, game stats from last week as Crossville came away with a big, uh, the first big area matchup win over Holly Pond. Uh, Crossville had 17 first downs. Holly Pond had six. Crossville came away with 286 yards rushing and Holly Pond 123. Uh, Holly Pond was shut down in the passing department, had zero, and Crossville had 124. Uh, Crossville was four for six in passing, and Holly Pond 0 for five and had one interception. And uh, Crossville didn't punt. That's two or three games this time that Crossville hadn't punted the ball. Yeah, that's about uh, 400 yards total offense. You can win with 400 yards to off this high school. It looks like the Sardis Lions are going to get the ball here in the opening half as the Crossville Lions will be kicking off. The exchanges have been made, and now they'll go back to their respected teams and make a run through the victory line as we get very close to getting this homecoming 1996 underway. We want to welcome in all the 86 teammates that may be watching this game, seeing themselves on camera. And here come the 1996 Crossville Lions homecoming. Black and gold balloons going up through the stadium. That's pretty. We're just moments away from getting this homecoming ball game underway. 
you stay with us. We're going to return in just a moment with a kickoff on the Crossville High School Homecoming 1996. back with the Crossville High School football 1996 homecoming as the Crossville Lions are taking on the Sardis Lions. Sardis Lions coming in one and four on the season their record while the Crossville Lions are coming in with only one loss to their record four and one ranked number six in the state and Todd Harper has a good kickoff down to the five yard line it's going to be taken there reverse 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 oh no Martin almost has him Joey Scott comes across, gets faked out. <laughs> what Looks that? like Dustin Powell. <laughs> thanks, Randy. <laughs> Woo, thanks. Go, ahead, go back. Go back. Check that out, bud. So the Sardis Lions will take over on their first possession of the ball game on the 26-yard line. Mike, I believe one of the uh, Sardis has got some good running backs. They're real fast, and uh, one of them is hurt, I understand. Jonathan Walker's in there, number 24. And uh, the other one is... Going the other way, and a boy! Oh, Richie Andrews. Richie Andrews on the What's stop. Going to be a loss of a yard Darnell on the play. Darnell on the stop. About a half a yard loss there, Mars. So that's a good way to start out on defense. Great way. Richie Andrews comes across and makes a great tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Let's go back and see it again. Well, he just fought off his block and almost overrun the play. Made a good adjustment to come back and get a hand on him. Uh, here, here, another hand off Tex, number 40 this him, time. Tex, hold him, Tex. That up, boy, Moreland. Good job, Tex Martin. Tex Martin comes up with a big stop. Mikey Wade comes up and helps him, helps him out on the tackle. It's going to be a pickup of about three yards. Todd Harper's going in replacing Zach Wallace. It's going to be third and about eight. Probably a passing situation for, for Sardis. Ball's at the 28-yard line in Sardis territory. We're early here in the first half. Ten minutes and 43 seconds to go. Passing situation, number 10 is going to go takes, drop back and going to pass, going to roll out. Hold over you. Got a man in the flat, and he's oh, got no. it. And it's out at about the 46-yard line, first oh, down for man. the Sardis Lions. He just lofted that over Texas' head. Let's go back and see that replay one more time. Quarterback just rolled out to his right. Had a lot of time, found a man out in the flat, wide open. Roll him out to give him a lot of time. Takes him covered there for a minute, and then he, he kind of drifted out back behind him. And there may be a flag on the play on the other side of the field. It looks like they're talking with the Crossville Lions and find out what kind of decision. And they've already spotted the ball. I don't know what's going on. So we'll maybe wait and let them tell us, if they will. They've already got the yardage markers lined up at the 45-yard line. And it must have been a flag after the play. It was personal. Unsportsmanlike conduct. conduct. against Sardis after the play. So that's going to back them up. 15 yards, the ball will now be rest right on the 30-yard line. I didn't see anything either. Play, Jerry. Maybe... Well, we're coming back out now, so maybe we'll get get that up in a minute. So the Sardis Lions have now got first down and 25, sitting at their own 35-yard line, number 10. Get it, Richie. Get it, Rolls Richie. out to his get left Richie. this time. Oh, man. Good lick laid in there by Zach. 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 <laughs> yeah. Quarterback just takes the ball down, tries to turn it up field around the corner. And you'll see here in the replay, he... Uh, he pays for it. I, I believe this is the one where the penalty. Okay, it's a penalty play. See if we can see where the personal foul came in after the play. It was down on, as he went out of bounds, I think. Let's 
Uh, it had to be on the sideline, something, something that was done over there. Second down and about 16 to go now, 17. Quarterback once again going to roll out to the right. Try to find the number 24 in the flat. Oh, man. Almost made a, a diving catch off his fingertips, but it comes up incomplete. Oh, he was wide open. If it hit him coming out of that backfield right there on the line of scrimmage and knock him down, <laughs> he couldn't get out there. That's true. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to have to stick him there when he comes out. Third down 17 now for Sardis. He's coming out of the tailback position. Todd Harper's going to come back in. Come on, guys, get to it. Number 10 up under quarterback once again. Come on, guys, get to it. Get to it. Right He's going to roll Kegel. out to the right. Come on, Kegel. Get the ball. Oh. And he falls incomplete after bouncing off two or three players' hands. So that'll bring up fourth down now as the Sardis Lions will have to punt the ball away. It's good coverage. Go back and see it once again. He had, had a little bit of time. Who was that bearing down on him? Got a lick uh, on him. I think it's Cagle. Cagle come in there. Mm -hmm. And he just throwed that up. That could have been intercepted. Not a whole lot of chance of anybody getting that ball except maybe the crossfall lines. Number 10, Dustin Powell drops back in punt receiving formation as number 10. 10 to 10 is going to be punting the ball for Sardis. He gets it off. Going to be a Chase shank off to the, the right. right. Hits at the 41-yard line. Goes out of bounds right there. Going to be down at the 38-and-a-half-yard line. So the Crossville Lions will take over for their first possession of the ball game. We'll return right after these messages. We're back with 10 minutes to go in this opening period. Crossville Lions have got the ball now in the end, their end of the territory. Right up the middle. Mikey, Mikey Wade comes right up the middle, carrying the ball, picks up six oh, yards. We'll take it. And blowing them off right there, Morris. Can't say enough about good things about the offensive line scrimmage for Crossville this year. They have opened some huge holes like up. We've improved as, there, you know, as, as we went along. Sure have. Morris, as far as our what we're doing and uh, seem like we're taking it to, to them instead of getting it to, to us. That's right. Second down and four now. Once again, Mikey Wade see, off the right see side. The, see, that's first down. And <laughs> they blowed him off three yards. Right. Before, but, you before know, he, he got to the first down yards. marker before anybody ever touched him. Run into a wall. Picks up about five on the play. Be a first down. The ball's marked just inside the 50-yard line as we go back and see that first down run by Mikey Wade again. See, that's right there. See, they're just moving them. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, Boy, that's <laughs> good. Right on his back. Great execution by the offensive line. It's good blocking. Dustin Powell's going to come wide right this time. Harper in the flanker back. H-back set. I formation in the backfield. Wade behind I Rimple. First and ten. Wade off the left side this time. Hmm. Not quite as much running room this time. Give him about three yards maybe on the yep. carry. Been a busy day up here across the day, Morris. Sure has. Homecoming and had the parade this afternoon and the 86 team back. They had a, I think a, them and uh, the football team tonight. Uh, this 86 team and uh, 96 team had a lunch today at 11 o'clock. Yeah, sure did. It's second down in about seven. Do you, did you, you wasn't in there, but do you, I don't know. Dye Dyrimple off the left side. Was that what now? Picks up about six. Uh, how inspiring would that have been for this year's ball club to have heard as we go back and watch a replay, Dyrimple off the left. It's going to bring up third down in about three. How oh, inspiring yeah. would that have been to have the 86 team come to the locker room and talk with you and have, have supper before the game? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that, that'd be a, a big honor for these guys here, you know. Ooh, that didn't look good. Dyrimple tries it off the right side and gets stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to bring up fourth down. They're going to call it no gain on the play. We're going for it here early in the game. That's Coach Garman for you. There's not many fourth down situations we've had this year that he's not went for. 
Of course, there's not many of them we hadn't made yet. That's true. Real good fourth down efficiency this year. If you've got an offensive line that can blow people off about three yards, that assures you a lot. Mikey Wade sees something he doesn't like. He's going to call a timeout from tailback position. So we'll take a timeout with them with seven minutes and 12 seconds here in the opening period of Crossville High School homecoming 1996. We'll return right after these messages. Seven minutes and 12 seconds to go after the after we came out of a crossful timeout. It's fourth down and about three. It's a big play here. Ball's at the 44-yard line inside Sardis territory. Pitch back, Mikey Wade. He's got running room. Boy, Mikey. He's got his first down and a yard to spare. So Mikey Wade carries it over the right side behind his blocking of Corey Dyrimple. Picks up his first down. Going to be first down inside the 40-yard line, 39-yard line. Didn't have much fire, but at least it was a first. That's true. First down and 10. Sardis has got some pretty big, pretty good-sized boys on their team. Sardis got a good-looking team, mate. Right? At number 71 on the line there. He's good size. That fella right beside him, I can't tell what his number is. 73, looks 73. like. 73. That's two pretty good-sized boys. Wallace up under center, Mikey Wade spinning around. Picks up about three on the play. Tries to run it right up the middle. Hadn't seen a whole lot of Mikey Wade spin moves this year. Hadn't needed them a whole lot, really. He showed his, uh, he showed his patented spin that time. Just Holly if Han, he didn't play. Well, how about the... Well, first half, I know he didn't play none, second half. Second down and about seven. Wallace is going to drop back. Oh, first oh, pass of the play. Oh, oh, oh look at here. He got him wide open. He's down. Oh, Fumbles. He got back on it. He got back on it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Woo. Richie Andrews wide open. Richie Andrews caught the ball right down the middle. Had a had several steps on his man behind him. Oh, he ain't beat. Man, look here. But and then Todd, the, Todd was wide open. Sure was, and then he had it stripped from behind. It, it fell right 21 back on it. came in and stripped it away from him, and he fell right back on it. We first and goal from about the four. It's first down and four now. Mikey Wade carries it off the right side. He's going in untouched. Gets hit right at the goal line. Good job. Mikey Wade, touchdown, Crossville. That a boy. Mikey Wade carries it in from the four-yard line. So Crossville goes on the board first as the line roars here at Crossville with five minutes and 48 seconds to go. Here's we'll the watch the replay again. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to get touched. Well, that that guy, rifle didn't quite knock him down. Yeah. He just blocked him backwards. That, that guy came up in a hurry. See if we can get a football all the way up here in the press box. Now, Morris, we've said that from now. For <laughs> every time we play at home, and they ain't got one here yet. I don't believe we got one that's got an arm on them. I better not say that. We'll have him cheerleaders on us. Yeah, they'll be on it. Todd oh, Harper man, with a kick. Them blocks. Extra points good. Todd Harper makes it seven to nothing. Crossful lines over the Sardis lines as we're here at Crossville Memorial Stadium homecoming 1996. Five minutes, 48 seconds. We'll return right after this. It's 48 seconds to go. No. Okay. We'll go back as there. Todd Harper's kicking it off. And it's a short kickoff. Oh! Had a boy, Marlon. Sardis will have the ball outside the 35-yard line. We go back and watch Mikey Wade's touchdown run from the four. Well, boy, it's, it's open, wasn't it? Watch Todd, Todd Harper done a great job cutting his blocks down. And Dyer Dyer made a good block. It just got it quite go down. Yeah, guy just had an angle on Mikey right at the goal line and 
give him a pretty good little pop, but I wonder, I, I, wonder who got, I wonder who got the pop. First down and 10 now for the Sardis Lions, their second possession of the game after they had to punt. You see that kickoff the way he done it, I think uh, Coach Garman told him to, come on, guys, right there, right there. Oh, no. Number 39 Boy, comes in. There. End around. He's going to pick up about eight yards on the play. Boy, he slipped through, uh, through a little seam there. Looks like we had it covered there with... Yeah, Tex just couldn't get off his block. Turned it into the inside. They made a good, that was a good job of them there. Yeah, that's good, good execution. Job. They held the blocks. Ball's at the 45-yard line. Oh, Number no. 40 comes off the left side. He's got running room. Moreland misses the tackle. Mikey Way's got it. Boy, He's going to knock him out at the 20-yard line. And we got a flag down? No, uh, no. I don't see one. No. They was... Second short, and he bounced it outside, Morrison. More than I don't know. Mikey Wade has the angle on him to get him run out. The ball's at the 22-yard line now in Crossville's territory. Has a big pickup of 33 yards by the Sardis Lions. First down and 10. Come on, guys. Right Number here. 24 right. comes around oh, boy, off Apple. the left side. Oh. Ball's on the ground. Looks like Dusty Darnell jumped on it. No, Somebody else may have got it. it. And it looks like Sardis Lions have recovered Ooh. their own fumble. Man, how that thing get past. And he's going to pick up about four yards on the play. I don't know if he picked it up or the fumble picked it up. I don't know. Man, we got to get them. Well, that's going to make the ball rest about the 19-yard line. Be second down in about six. Number 24, number 40, rest in the backfield for Sardis. Number 10 under center. 21 goes in motion. He's going to get the ball oh, off the right him. side. What are we doing? He carries the ball down to the five-yard line. About a 14-yard pickup. He comes up limping off on the play. About a 14-yard pickup, and it's first down and goal for Sardis. Got one of the officials coming over here to the sidelines. Have a conference, looks like. So we was told by one of the officials up here that someone in the stands has got a whistle that's being blowed. That's what they're... Uh... May make an announcement to the crowd to cut that out. I don't know. I didn't hear it. You can't hardly hear it. This headphones. Yeah. Yeah. First down and goal, the ball's about the six-yard line. Number 40 that goes right boy. back up the middle. That a boy, that Ripple. He's going to pick up about two yards on the play. Yeah, Dye Ripple. He'll get it inside. Well, they've got it marked right on the five-yard line. Mm -hmm. We'll go back and see it again. That's a good stick right in the middle. That a boy. Yeah, that's good. Good job. Good technique tackle right there. So now it's second down and goal as Sardis has the ball at the five. It's three minutes, 34 seconds to go. Crossville leads seven to nothing. Get him right here. Get him right more tech. Number 40 goes down to the goal line, but gets knocked out of bounds at about the one. It'll two. bring up. I think you marked him about the two. Be third down and two then from the two. They put the ball just inside the two-yard line with three minutes and 25 seconds. And the Sardis Lions are going to take a timeout. So we'll take a timeout with them. As Crossville leads 7 to nothing, but the Sardis Lions on the drive will return right after this. Three minutes and 25 seconds to go as the Sardis Lions are trying to drive the ball down the field. 
The ball's at the two-yard line. It's third down and two, goal to go. Crossville line's defense is going to have to come up with a big stop right here to hold them out of the end zone. Come on, D. Come Number on, 40 takes oh, it off. Who He's is that? short. Who he was stopped that? right at the line of scrimmage. It's fourth Zach down. Zach Wallace come through and slipped his leg off Monday. Zach Wallace comes shooting through the gap. He might have lost Cuts his feet off Monday. We'll go back and see that once again, there. see him shoot through. Coming from your left, left your screen here. Right there, right there. Out of boy, Zach. Good job, buddy. Good job. You know, Harley was in on it. So Mike we've got another timeout on the field as it's fourth down and three now with three minutes and nine seconds to go. Crossville leads. Looks like the Sardis Lions are deciding in a huddle what they want to do, make a decision. Might give us a little bit of your expertise here in past history. I ain't got no expertise. Mark. What'd you do? <laughs> what would I do? What would you do? Kick it or go I, I, for it? Well, if I had Todd Harper, kick a field goal. <laughs> now what they got, I don't know. <laughs> We're going to see here, though. While we're waiting on them to get back, we want to tell Fans Foodland we appreciate them. Dino's Trucks and More here in Crossville. 24-hour record service, Colonial Bank, and Crossville Exxon. Fourth and three. Sardis has the ball at the three. They're going oh, they for moved, it. They moved. That's it. Out of boy. Got Ooh, flags everywhere. So if that's what we think it is, Mike, we'll back them up. Back them up by. And that's what the official is saying it is, so that's going to back them up. It'll bring up fourth down and long now. They've what, spotted the ball eight? at the seven-yard line. Fourth down and seven with three minutes and nine seconds to go. This has been a been a long quarter, it seems like. Sure is. That's cool. Okay. Cool night here at the Memorial Stadium. So they're going to go for it again as it's fourth and eight. Just outside the seven, the quarterback's going to have it. Oh, going to try oh, to pass okay. out in the flat. Wide open. Number 24 has it. Wide open. Come on, guys. So the Sardis Lions go up on the board with three minutes to go. Seven to six now as we go back and see it again. That number 24 has been open in that pass, in that flat, so far the whole game. Mm. Pretty good catch by the little receiver, number 24. Yep. That'd be Jonathan Walker, 12th grader. He's a senior. One of the best running backs that they have over there. Got good speed. And the kick is up, and it's good. So with three minutes to go in the first quarter, we're all knotted up at seven apiece. Here at Crossville's Memorial Stadium, we'll return right after this. We're back with three minutes and three seconds as Sardis Lines has kicked off. Shanked it over on the right sidelines. And who was that that caught the ball? It was Zach. Uh, Zach. And I guess the, the moment just kind of got him, you know, if he let it go, if he let let the ball go, it had it on 35 because he caught it right on the sideline. So the ball so. now rests just inside the 29-yard line. Cross for lines have it. Two wide out split wide right. Mikey Wade comes this side to the near sidelines. He's got running room, got a flag down on the play. He picks up a first down, but we'll stop and see what the flag's all about. On us. So we've got holding against Crossville as we go back and watch it once again. He's on the back side of the play is what. Yeah, it came from the far sidelines. I don't know. That looks like where it was at, up the top of the screen. So that'll push them back, and that'll bring up first down in about 20 now. <clears throat> I don't know. They may have been two or three different holding. 
So they've got the ball now resting at the 18-yard line. That'll be first down and 20. Got a long way to go now, Mike. Mm -hmm. That's not good. We're getting down to close to two minutes and 40 seconds to go in the opening period. Well, we got more flags on the play as the play just gets underway. This has turned out kind of ugly here the last few minutes. I don't know. And we've got a legal motion. That'll back up five more on Crossville. That'll be first down and 25. So the Crossville Lions are digging herself a deep hole right here to try to get out of it. Sure are. They've got to get up to the 39-yard line to get a first down. And they're back at the 17, no, 14-yard line. I'm having to look around the pole, Mike. You may have to tell me what's going on. Mikey Wade has the ball, taking it right up the middle. He's got a little running room. He's still spinning around. Got another flag on the play. He gets a, it back up. That may be a face mask there. I don't know. I he, hope it is anyway. He picks, the, it picks his way almost back to the original line of scrimmage. We'll go by and sit back and look at it once again as they sort it out on the field. Yep. Thank and you. it's a face mask against Sardis. Here it is. Right here on number 10. I, what was uh, right in before, the, before number 10. I couldn't tell who it was. Yeah, I couldn't quite see it. So is that going to be tacked on to the end of the run? Yep. First down, Crossville. So Mikey Wade picks up about 14 yards on the play. He gets it up close to the original line of scrimmage, get a penalty play, and that'll give them automatic first down and add 10 more yards to it. So now it is first down and 10. The ball rests at the 40, just outside the 43-yard line. I formation, Todd Harper split left. And it'll be Mikey Wade once again, but off the right side, he's got a little running room, a little crack. He'll pick up maybe three, three and a half. <clears throat> See where they four, spot it. Oh, four yards there, it looks like. We'll so take four. We're going to bring up second down and six. We've got a minute and 40 seconds to go in the opening period. All tied up, seven apiece. As both of these teams' offenses has drove the ball down the field and scored. Crossville trying to move again. Todd Harper, Dustin Powell comes wide right. Corey Dyrimple, Mikey Wade in the backfield. Wallace under center. It's going to be a pass play. Hurry, hurry, Wallace hurry, better get rid hurry, of it. Hurry, He's got go. Dustin Powell Powell's out in the Powell. flat. Dustin Powell's got a big pickup. Good job. Good job, Wallace. About a third. He's getting pressure from the backside. We'll go back and see it once again. Good job. I have a lame duck, but it got the job done. About a 19 yard. <laughs> Shoot that thing. About a 19 yard pickup by Powell. Number 80, Zach Wallace, along with Todd Harper this time off to the left. Mikey oh, Wade off the left side, got running room around the end, tries to cut it back up the middle. He's going to be knocked forward. Hot <laughs> a boy, Mikey. About nine. He's going to be close to another first down, see where they spotted at. Got a penalty again. Come on. We got a holding. We'll go back and see it again. What's Corey Dyrenfel? He's trying to tell the coach that it was on him, but he didn't do it. He was just using his hand, not holding. I don't know. He did look like he turned his man out, but you couldn't tell he was away from us. Couldn't tell if he was holding him or just pushing him. He was trying to justify his, plead his case to the coach. That, no, it wasn't me. I was just pushing, coach. May it, not have been Corey. I don't may know who it was. First down and 15 now after the penalty play. Dyrimple off the right. No, that's Mikey. Is that Mikey? Yeah. He's going to get it back up just past the original line of scrimmage. Mm -hmm. It was uh, marked from the spot of the foul there. So he picked up about eight. That's going to bring up second down and, and about a nine.
And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. Yep. As we have played to a 7-7 tie here at Crossville Memorial Stadium here at Homecoming 1996. We're going to take a break. Come back with the second quarter right after these messages. You stay with us. We're back with the opening drive of the second quarter as Crossville has the ball. It's second down in about nine or a short eight. They've turned around going the other way now, going from our left to right, or right to left, wouldn't it? Down right, right straight up the middle. Woo! Took a good shot right there at the end of the play. <clears throat> He's going to pick up about four on the play. Mm -hmm. About third and four. Number 80, Zach Wallace checks into the ball game, carries the play in from the sidelines. We'll call it third down and four as him, he and Todd Harper come wide left. Die Rimple, Mikey Wade in the backfield. Need a third down conversion right here to keep the drive. Oh. The ball's on the ground. Mikey Wade just falls on it. Mm. That's the smart thing to do. We got another flag on the play. We'll wait and let them sort it out. Got a holding against Crossville. And Mike, the coaches over here on Crossville don't look too happy about it. That's, I don't know how many, third or fourth holding penalty already. And that was the first play of the second quarter. So that's going to bring up at about third and 14. So once again, Crossville's backing up, digging a little bit of hole. They need to throw that shovel away. <laughs> Get them a new one. Yeah, no use digging a deep hole now. Ball rest just outside the 40, 41 yard line. 11 minutes and six seconds to go, all tied up. Powell and Harper goes wide right this time. They just flip flop, go on the other side. Dyrimple right up the middle, a little trap play. Ball's on the ground. Got a fumble. Looks like it's going to bring up fourth down. Crossville got it back. That's two or three times we've put the ball on the ground, Mike. Yep. That's going to bring up fourth down and call it 11, 10 and a half. And the official is going to have a timeout while one of the Sardis players fixes his helmet. It's ready, and now they're ready. Fourth down and 11. Johnson drops back in punt formation. Number 24 comes in. He'll receive the punt. Johnson has a pretty good kick. High in the air. It's going to be, it's going to land at the 15. And going to drop just inside, going to be down at about the 13-yard line. So there's where the Sardis Lions will take over. <coughs> Ten minutes and eight seconds, all knotted up. Homecoming 96. you be back with us in just a moment. back as the Sardis Lions have the ball after Crossville passed the punt on the turnovers. Got a penalty. Let's see what this is going to be about. We got offsides on Sardis. Had moved Decline it. somewhere. Decline it. Yeah, that'll, that's Yeah, and the penalty job. is declined, so that'll bring up second down from right where they're at. Ball's at about the 13-yard line in Sardis territory. The official's going to have to go in and get them a new supply flags at halftime. They're going to wear these out, Mike. 
restriction. Oh, who was? Oh, somebody stuck him. Is it Dusty Darnell? No, it's uh, Richie, I think. 84? Uh, Richie Andrews comes in, makes a big stop. Go back and look at it again. Richie's done a pretty good job of shooting them gaps tonight. It's Mark Johnson. Mark Harley. Johnson. He runs Johnson, it, yeah. yeah. Johnson comes in, makes good that job, big Mark. play. That's why he stayed home. So they're going to lose about two yards on the play. Nice. Going to try to find a wide, an open receiver. Hey, find Darnell, up, boy. Darnell comes in. Darnell, Cagle, and Webb wipe him out. All three of them, and then help him up off the sidelines. Good defense. So number 10 gets knocked out of bounds. Back at the six-yard line. Got to bring up fourth down. It's good hustle by Darnell, yeah. Okay, go on. Well, he just piled in there on him. Number 10 goes back, stands right at the back of the end zone as Dustin Powell, number 10 for Crossville, comes back. He'll receive the punt. He's standing at his 43-yard line, 44. Get it, get it, get it. Knuckleball punt. Had an opportunity to pick it up. So the ball's going to be marked at about the 47-yard line. That's where Crossville will take over on downs. We'll return right after these messages. Nine minutes to go in this, sec in this second quarter. Crossville has the ball after a punt. Mikey Wade goes up the middle, picks up about six yards. Good job. Maybe seven. We'll wait and let them see where they spot it. I believe they're going to give him about six. All knotted up here at homecoming, 1996. Good ball game for these fans on both sides to watch. Got a good crowd from Sardis out. Yeah. We appreciate them bringing a good crowd. Their band done a, I guess you'd call an introduction tonight before the game. Done a good job. And done a real fine job. We appreciate Sardis band for doing that. Mikey Wade off the left side. Got his first down. Cuts it back up the middle. Runs into the referee. <laughs> tries to cut it back. He's still going. <laughs> I don't want Mikey. And Mikey Wade is going to pick up good yardage as he gets the ball down to the 20. 23-yard line. 16 yards. 16. No, 17. About 17 yards. 17-yard pickup by Mikey Wade. You'll go back and watch it again. I believe if he well, hadn't run body. into the referee. Look at all them white shirts on the ground there. <laughs> but the, uh, the referees, they, they part of the game just like the players, and you yep. have to take the good and the bad. That goes along with it. First down and 10 now for Crossfield. Sometimes they'll fit, uh, defend the uh, – They'll shield the defender off of you, too. You That's know. true, yeah. Mikey Wade off the left, right behind Dyrimple. Good job, Ryan. Gets the ball down to the 16-yard line. Got a good shot of the cheerleaders there. We got the junior cheerleaders helping out tonight. That's good. Going to give Mikey about six-yard pickup. That'll bring up second down and four. As Cross was on the drive, Zach Wallace goes wide right. And I mean wide right. He can take a step and be out of bounds in a moment. But it's a handoff. Mikey Wade, he's going off the right side. Cuts it back to the Mikey. middle. He's got little, his first down. Delayed trap there. Pull the guard. Look like pull the guard and tackle both. That's going to bring up first down and goal to go for Crossville. <clears throat> going to pick up about 10 yards on the play. They're going to put the ball down at the eight-yard line. First and goal at the eight. We're going power. We're going power backs now, Wars. Bring it in the beef. Bring it in the beef. What was that commercial? Where's the beef? Johnson, Dalrymple, and Harper. It's in the backfield right now. 250, 240, 250, 220, 220. Dyrimple has the ball. 
Down the about takes, the four. Takes the ball off the left side. Body right to five, I guess. Short pickup. Picks up about three on the play. So it's first and five at the five. Second and five at the five. Zach Wallace once again goes wide right. We've still got the beef in the backfield. That's a beefy backfield. And it's quarterback keeper as Wallace tries to Ooh, hold it. That didn't work. He's going to lose the yard on the play. We've got six minutes to go before halftime. All knotted <clears throat> up at seven. It's going to bring up third down now, nine. Third about, about seven? Yeah, about seven. Dustin Powell's going to bring the ball mm, right, to play in. That just didn't work, did it? That didn't look good from the get-go there. That's a good idea, though. Harper comes wide one. left. Dustin Powell goes wide right. Mikey Wade back in the back backfield. It's going to be a pass play over the oh. middle. Oh, oh. Dye Ripple. Oh, Dye Ripple was wide open. Dye Ripple was wide open, but he tried to pinpoint it in to Dustin Powell. And neither one of them, he or the Sardis defender, could hold on to the ball. And that'll bring up fourth down now as it falls incomplete. Go back and see it again. Boy, if he just could have been able to spot a die rimple. See him right there? Oh, Yeah. Man. He had done throw the ball before he had a chance to, to see die rimple over I as he crossed the goal line. just to break that up. Yeah. The guy could have intercepted it. Almost did. <clears throat> so Todd Harper's going to put it down. Can you see where it's at? It's right on the 15, Bill. 25 yarder. High snap. It gets down. It's up. It's I believe he missed it. Oh, man. I thought he got it. Shanked it off just to the right of the upright. So with five minutes and 23 seconds to go before halftime here at Crossville's Memorial Stadium, Crossville comes away with no points. And we're still nodded at seven apiece. We'll be right back. We're back with five minutes and 23 seconds to go before halftime. It's knotted up at seven. <clears throat> as Crossville couldn't convert, couldn't put the points on the board, touchdown or field goal. And we got more flags on the play. Sardis takes the ball over now at the 20. It'll be first and 10. That play yeah, never got started. Illegal procedure by Sardis. That'll back them up to the 15-yard line. It'll be first down and 15. Very sloppy play tonight, really by both sides. You, you'd think that it was homecoming for both of them. Both of them it went through their homecoming activities. And maybe they'll go in at halftime and make some adjustments. I'm sure there'll be some attitudes adjusted anyway, <laughs> both sides. First and 15, Sardis Lions have the ball. Number 24 exactly, tries exactly. to cover on the end around. He Got fell. a flag again, and he's going <laughs> to... He, what the... He's going to be stopped at the line of flag, scrimmage. Man. Decline it. We're going to clip it. You might want to take that one. Yeah, that'll back him up nearly to the goal line. They got to clip it on Zach right here, this boy. That should put him about the seven-yard line. Oh, it's just good, quite out, a little out of your screen there. Yep. Well, if we run three or four plays and it's still first down. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even add that far. How long? What's that? About first and uh, <laughs> 25? 25. Come on, guys. Get him right there. Get him, Tex. Get him, Morla. Number Morla. three tries to get up the sidelines on the far side of the field. Gets run out of bounds just outside the 10. Pick up of about five on the play. Second down and about 18. 
Coach Garman getting a little uh, beside himself. Up middle. Come on, guys. Number 40 right tries to take it off the left side. Gets stuffed right there. Pick up much, Short we yardage to, on the play. Ball, baby. We need to put the ball in the end zone one time here for high. Four minutes and 49 seconds to go before halftime. He's going to pick up about two on the play. And it's still third down and 15 to go. That's Kegel out there. And a whole host more. I didn't see the rest of them. Powell. In all honesty, Coach, uh, Coach Garman's got a little bit to be upset about. Might be justified in doing some hollering. Quarterback's going right. to pass play, drop back. Get Get, oh, I'm on Josh. Yeah, return it for a Got touchdown. Josh Wallace intercepted at the 35-yard line. Josh Wallace takes it in. Touchdown, Nelsville. Got a flag on the play. We'll wait and see no. what, the, what the flag is. Josh Wallace intercepts the ball at the 35. Takes it in, oh, but we got no. a flag Shoot laying at the 13-yard line. Darnell. Got a clipping. Oh, no. Darnell's wiped somebody out. Let's go back and watch it again. Watch 55. I think I said they're going to call it on. Let's see if he. So the interception was right standing. What did he right do? Right, 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 oh, right, right there. His head was over across yeah. in front of him. Watch it. Watch his. Oh, he wiped him out, too. Right there. See his head? Oh, in front yeah. Of him. Yeah. Oh, good they shot. Oh, he killed him. We got another flag, looks like, on Coach Garman now. Crossville Lions have taken a timeout, and Coach Garman's out on the field arguing, and he's gotten, he's just gotten another flag on him. We got four minutes and five seconds, seven to seven, all tied up. We'll go back and see that replay as they get it sorted out. Well, his momentum, his momentum carried him to the ground. That's, I mean, not because he hit him when he's on the ground. Well, now he well they didn't caught, call Spirit, no. no they, they called, called Clippin. Yeah. He has his head in front of him. All right, Mikey Wade just put a good shot on somebody. Oh, he did. All right, who just knocked this guy number? Is that 52? Who just knocked him down? Or did Nobody. He, just, he just fall down. See, All right. Harper's blocking him. I couldn't tell. So Crossville's got the ball now at the 42-yard line. It's first down and uh, forever. First down and 25, they're going to call it on the scoreboard. And Coach Garman is still out on the field talking with the head umpire and one of the side judges. Josh Wallace is going to Wallace is going to come over to the sidelines and have a little talk with uh, Coach Bobo. So we're going to get the play back underway with Crossville having the ball. The interception is good. It's first down and 25. We're going to go back and see that replay one more time while they get the ball game underway. And Crossville's come up to the line of scrimmage. It's first down and 25 now. Four minutes and five seconds to go before halftime. The crowd's getting into it here at homecoming. Mikey Wade off the right side. He's got running room down the sidelines. Man, he, he may go all the way. Touchdown, Crossville. Mikey Wade carries the ball in from the 42-yard line. And I don't see a flag in sight. <laughs> Good job, guys. So you take one away and we give you another. Mikey Wade carries the ball on a block. Good block, Dyrimple. And then he just outruns the rest. Oh, oh, what a block. Who is that? I couldn't tell. So I Luke Peake. <laughs> I don't, Luke Peake killed somebody. I don't believe Mikey knew he had that much speed. And he goes in standing up. Got him mad. The crowd's got into it. So now Todd Harper will go in and try to kick the extra point as Crossville leads 13 to 7. Low snap this time. It's up. He killed it. But it's good. 
So Crossville leads now 14 to seven at halftime with three minutes and 55 seconds to go in the first half. We're gonna return with homecoming 96 here at Crossville's Memorial Stadium, the Cable 2 Channel Network. fixing to kick off. We're back with a kickoff as the Crossville, Crossville goes in on the score. It's short. Down to the 16-yard line. Number 24 takes it off to the far sideline. And he's down. Yeah, he got it. He got it. He's down at the 29-yard line with another flag on the play. Jamie Hall got clipped for us. We'll go back and watch the uh, touchdown run by Mikey Wade. 42 yards. They had everybody stunting up the middle, trying to stop, stop it up the middle. And he just bounced it out to the outside and outrun everybody. Had good blocking downfield. He just outruns number 10 right there. And then outruns number 40 as he's trying to get the Still angle. Still the loot. Oh, man, a loot laid him out. As we watch the touchdown replay, Sardis is going to be backed up. <clears throat> Looks like to the 14-yard line. Yep. So they're going to start fresh with three minutes and 47 seconds before halftime. First and 10 at their own 14-yard line after a penalty. Coming this way. Coming this way, game take. Number 24 hey, comes Mikey, off. Got, a boy, good got job, another guys. flag. Looked like another clip or a holding one. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to lose yardage. We'll see what the flag is. I yeah, wish we could see if we got that replay. You can see that penalty easy. We'll let them get it sorted out. We'll try to go back and watch it ourselves. And it's been declined by Crossville, so it'll still be second down and 10. And who would it have been on here? Okay, let's see. Here. All right, you see it? Number, he's on 15, Tex Martin. No. no, right there it is on, on Wheeler, uh, Mikey Wade. Oh, no, it's on Dyrenful. Corey Dyrenful. Okay. Back there. I think. I don't know. I don't know. It's second down, and we'll call it nine way, and a half. This way. Oh, that a boy. That fooled me. <laughs> boy, Darnell and Webb. <laughs> Fullback tried it right up the middle, number 40, and he's going nowhere. So that's going to bring up third down and nine. I've run out of paper on how many yard penalties it is. <laughs> I, I, quit, I quit keeping up with that. <laughs> Look at the people down around the station there, Mars. It's full of stand. Yeah, there's people standing two, Everywhere. three, four deep around the, around the end zone at the concession stand. Pice, Pice, Pice. Get, get this, hold it. Out of board, Johnson. Johnson Woo stacks him up. More than finish him off. After a short gain. Hey, two... 227, we're going to get the ball right here. Go back and see that big stack up. That Johnson that comes in? Yeah. Boy, more if he hadn't lost his feet. He did lose his feet a little bit. He could have. He would have drove him back. It's fourth down and five as Sardis has the ball. Two minutes to go in for halftime. Crossville lines lead, 14 to seven. Dustin Powell's dropped back to receive the punt. He's just inside Crossville territory. Number 10 drops back to punt it. Pretty oh, good, good punt this good time. Punt. Good get punt. It, Drives him all the way back to his own 35-yard line. Fumbles the ball. Get the Needs to get on it. Whoa. And Whoa. Justin Powell falls on his own fumble and gets the ball back. Oh. Boy, that'd been a big <laughs> game for Sardis if he'd got that. And my heart just my Ooh, feet, We may Martin. have to have a cardiologist up here Whoa. to re revive Bobo from that. <laughs> Minute and 48 seconds. Wallace will trot onto the field, bring his offense down. We'll take another long run right here, couldn't we? Dustin Powell, Todd Harper go wide right. Two men in the backfield. Mikey Wade gets the ball off the right side, goes off blocker. tackle. He's got running room. That blocker. He's still picking up yardage. Mikey right, Wade picks up about 13 on the play. Come out. No, we got. So they're going to move chain. Okay. Yeah. They'll stop the clock to move the chains. Dustin Powell's coming out. 
Zach Wallace goes in as we watch the replay again. He just kept moving that pile. No, that's Somebody did. Die Rim. Oh, look at Die Rim move 40. Pump back. Look at his offensive lineman. They still right there in the play, 13 yards downfield, hustling. Oh, got a minute and a half, minute and a half to go before halftime. First and 10, 45-yard line. Mikey Wade off the left side this time. Go, Mikey. He's going to pick up short yardage, about five. Man. That's, that's pretty good when you say short yardage, five-yard gain, yeah. isn't it? One, one man right there, and he'd had a big game. So the clock's still running. Minute and 10 seconds now. Johnson goes in the ball game. Dustin Powell blank, brings the play in. Johnson's at fullback. Tyrep had to get a little breather there. I guess Mikey's give out too. Boy, I guess Mikey so. can go and go and go though. We got it stacked up in the middle. Wallace dropped back to pass. Oh, no. Got a short. Oh, it's kind way of a out of kind of a duck out of bounds. So the pass was caught about five yards out of bounds, right next to the fence line. That don't count, does it? We've got third down and five, 46 seconds. We want to make sure you stay right here for all the halftime festivities. My, we, we hadn't even mentioned, we're going to crown a homecoming queen before this thing's a, over. A, a, a good homecoming queen. Sure are. Mikey Wade now takes it off the right side. He's got running right down. Oh. Number 21 comes in, tackles him. Four-yard pickup. That's going to bring up fourth down. Come on, guys. Hurry, 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 hurry. Fourth down and one. We got 30 seconds, under 30 seconds now, and they may just let the clock run out. No, we need to get a little closer. We got some timeouts left. Yeah, we ain't used but one timeout. Yeah, right uh, there. He has a, oh man, he just likes one man better than sure did. And they're stacking it up. Wallace goes up the middle. Look at here. He's Atta got boy, his first we'll down, it. down to the 35-yard line. Let's stop the clock. Timeout crossed. Oh, gosh, we got an eight seconds. Eight seconds. We're going to return. Be back in just a few minutes with the last eight seconds before halftime. Crossville leads 14-7. to seven. He was kicking. 52-yarder. We're back with the eight seconds to go before halftime. Crossville's got first and 10 at the Sardis 35-yard line. We're going to see what they're going to try to do with eight seconds to go. Throw a little out. They got Todd Bow Harper out of bounds. That, that can and has kicked a 52-yard field goal in his play here. Got an out. Down to Todd Harper. Oh, good play with the number 24 there. Good defensive play. Got two seconds to go on the play clock right before halftime, and they're going to send in the tee. And they're going to let Todd Harper try to kick it from the 35. Boy, that's a good play with the 24 at Walker Boy from Sardis. He had it out there. He sure did. Good pass. It was Pretty just good pass. coverage. Can't right fault there. anybody on that. Boy, oh, away. had it right in his hands. Well, that's going to be it. This will be a long way for him. Yep. This will match his, uh, his longest his career if he makes this. Well, that was 50, wasn't it? Oh, was it 50? Yeah. He's oh, uh, it's bad short. short. Go down there and cover it. You got to cover. You got to cover it, guys. The clock's run out, but they're running the ball. Sardis has picked the ball you up. Can run it. Hold him, Joey. I don't boy, Joey Scott. Joey Scott comes in Good on the job. play, and makes boy, the Darnell. stop. Boy, so as the halftime winds down, we encourage you to stay right here with us as the Crossville Marching Band will be out on the field. We'll name a homecoming queen in attendance in just a little bit. We'll return right after this. service 
and this is my country. The percussion section will be featured in a scene from an army kitchen. The band will conclude with America the Beautiful and Battle Hymn of the Republic.
At this time, we would like to introduce the 1996 Homecoming Court. We will begin with a sophomore attendant. Misty Darnell is the daughter of Jerry and Wanda Darnell. She is a member of the Christians in Action, the History Club, Treasurer of the FHA, and is representative of her, of her sophomore class. She plays volleyball and is a member of Union Grove Baptist Church. She is being escorted by Landon Simpson. He is the son of Rodney and Vicki Simpson. Marcy Simpson is the daughter of Patrick and Deidre Simpson. She is a member of the CIA History Club and she is also a member of FHA and is the recreational leader. She is a varsity cheerleader and plays varsity softball. She is being escorted by Heath Davidson, son of Roger and Glenda Davidson. Jennifer Stevens is the daughter of Larry and Sharon Harris and Frankie Stevens. She is a member of CIA, Creative Arts, and the History Club. She is also a member of the varsity softball and volleyball teams. Jennifer also serves as sophomore class president. She is a member of Macedonia No. 2 Baptist Church. She is being escorted by Randy Vinsky, who is the son of Dale and Karen Bailey. The junior attendants are Christy Hawkham, she is the daughter of Sydney and Karen Hawkham. Christy is a member of the Crossville First Baptist Church, where she is an act dean and in the youth choir. She has been a varsity cheerleader for two years and has played varsity softball for two years. She is class reporter for the 11th grade class 
and is a member of Creative Arts, Christians in Action, Future Homemakers of America, and the History Club. Chrissy has been in attendance for two years. She is escorted by Josh Crump, son of Joe Crump and Jetty Crump. Devin Molinax is the daughter of Lamar and Pam Molinax. She is a member of Crossville First United Methodist Church and Youth Group. Devin has been a member of the varsity basketball team for four years, volleyball team for three years, and softball team for two years. She is secretary of, of the student council, vice president of the junior class, treasurer of Creative Arts Club, and chaplain of the History Club. She is also a member of FHA and CIA. Devin is being escorted by Justin Ruth, the son of Marvin and Patsy Ruth. April Plunkett is the daughter of Byron and Loretta Plunkett. She is a member of New Home Church in Kilpatrick. She plays varsity basketball, softball, and volleyball. April is the secretary of Creative Arts, chaplain of CIA, and treasurer of Beta Club. She is also a member of the History Club and FHA. She is being escorted by David Nash, the son of Harold and Cindy Nash. The senior attendants are Amber Dobbins. Amber is the daughter of Ronnie and Debbie Dobbins. She is a member of FHA, CIA, and the History Club. She was chosen class favorite for the 95-96 school year. She was a member of the band for seven years and a majorette for the 95-96 school year. This year, she is a varsity cheerleader. She is reporter of the senior class. Amber has been a member of the homecoming court for three years. She is a member of Fairview United Methodist Church. Amber is escorted by her father, Ronnie Dobbins. Tara Harris is the daughter of David and June Harris. She is president of the senior class, president of the Creative Arts Club, and president of the History Club. She is also a member of Christians in Action and FHA. She is co-editor of the annual staff. Tara has been a varsity cheerleader for three years. She was recently selected as All-American and UCA All-Star Cheerleader. She is a member of Concord Baptist Church, its youth group and choir. She has been chosen as a member of the homecoming board for three years. Tara is escorted by her father, David Harris. Paige Higginbotham is the daughter of Alan and Leslie Higginbotham. She is senior class treasurer, president of the FHA, and a member of CIA. She is escorted by Daniel Wyron, son of Al and Claudia Wyron. The principal of Crossville High School is awarding the sophomore attendants their trophies.
second alternate is Paige Higginbotham. First alternate is Amber Dobbins. And the 1996 homecoming queen from Crossville High School is Tara Harris. Crowning this year's queen is Miss Tara Holcomb, last year's homecoming queen, now a student at Jacksonville State University. We appreciate the support that the community has given the band this year and especially appreciate the support which you have given the annual homecoming meal. Once again, you have made it an overwhelming success. Uh, there's a car which needs to be moved, please, belonging to Terry Golden. Terry Golden, please move your automobile. We're back with the second half. Kickoff goes down to Dustin Powell. He brings it up back to the 29 yard line. So Crossville will take the ball over at the 28 yard line is where they've marked it over. Mark the ball down there as we start the second half. Whew. Band done a fine job. We want to congratulate Miss Tara Harris. Tara Harris. Homecoming Queen, Queen, 1996. Yes. Amber Dobbins, first runner-up. Paige Hickam, Botham, second runner-up. I'm out of breath. Had to run to the, <laughs> had to run to the restroom there. So it's going to bring up second down in about nine and a half after a short, short pickup right. across the lines. Get back to football here now. Let's do what we do best. Come on, guys. Eye formation in the backfield. Boy, that rimple right up, up the middle. He's oh, got some running room. Boy, good job. He's going to come up a little bit short of his first down. Not much. But it'll be close. Big, big Jason Cash that right beside him. While we've got just a minute, let's, uh, let's tell everybody about some halftime stats. They're going to uh, take a time out and measure for a first down. Uh, Crossville came out with uh, rushing 177 yards total team and 54 yards passing for a total team effort of 231 total offense. Uh, Mikey Wade had a 152 yards, two touchdowns on 17 carries. Good Wallace good. is going to take it on quarterback sneak. Good job, Josh. He'll carry it for his first down. Get back to some Start, of the stats. Sardis had, uh, what, that, right at 86 yards? Total. Somewhere between 75 and 80 yards total offense. I may have so, missed one. That's not too bad. Their uh, 
Big running back, number 40, which I don't even know his name. Is not, his number's not down on their sheet. Uh, Chris Chambers. Yeah. Eight carries, 39 yards. Big Dalrymple rumbling up the middle of about five. Number 15, Brooks. Is about four? Wallace uh, had 10 yards rushing, and he was two for three in the passing categories for 54 yards. While Sardis, uh, they were two for four for 21 yards, and they are, their only score came on a touchdown pass. So about 177 yards rushing to about 75 or 80 yards rushing. That's pretty good for, for oh Crosby. Boy, there's a boy on the first down. Mikey Wade off the right side. He's going to pick up first down in about seven yards on the play. Mikey had uh, 17 carries for 152 yards, two touchdowns. That's pretty good half work, isn't it? Yeah, it is. See that first down pick up by Mikey. Zach Wallace comes into the game. They wasn't easy yards either. No. Well, that, that long run was Well, 42-yard touchdown run, but other than that, he had a lot of uh, six, seven, eight, three, four, five-yard pickups. Yeah. Pitch back this time to Mikey. He's going to – No. it. Boy, I thought he was going to get drugged down in the backfield. He's going to pick up 32 yards, yard and a half. Boy, he's something else now. If he's got a chance, he'll give you all he's got. And offensive line doing a good job getting it, getting it for him. He sure is. You just can't arm tackle him. It's second down and eight now for Crossville. Nine minutes and eight seconds in. We're into the third period. Crossville leads 14 to seven over Sardis. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mikey Wade just barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe loses a foot in the play. He got back, I think. That's that delayed uh, trap again. And, okay, shot through there, picked that up pretty good. So Mikey Wade now has 21 carries on the night for about 160 yards. It's a big third down play right here. Todd Harper, Zach Wallace come left. Two men in the backfield. Gonna be an option play. Quarterback's going to pitch it out. Mikey Wade on the oh, right man. side. Oh, was that not? Boy, it wasn't near the late hit. He's going to only pick up about two or three yards on the play. He come, he come from. So that's going to bring up fourth down in about five. As Crossville has moved the ball into Sardis territory, but stalling on the play. The ball's marked up at the 43-yard line. Fourth and five. If Crossville lines are going for it, going to be a pitch back. Mikey Wade off the left side. He's got oh, his boy. first down. He still got running room. And oh, one man, one man. Had one, one man, man to bounce off of. Woo! Good luck, you guys. He's going to pick up about nine yards on the play. Here's a replay. Go back and see. Fourth and five right there. Big play, big play. That's good hard run. It hit the hole hard. Well, I don't. Look at that. Oh, one man. Like to bounce off Yeah, him. that man didn't get him first shot. Oh, it looked like he stung his shoulder there. First and 10 now as Crossville has the ball inside the 40, 34-yard line is where it's marked. Zach Wallace is left. Got flags on the play. Dyrenfel takes the ball up the middle, but may have movement on Crossville. Looks like they shot across. Uh, may have. I believe they shot across, I hope, anyway. Yeah, they're talking with Crossville, so we're going to Gain a little bit of yardage. Yep. Offsides against Sardis. <laughs> so it'll be first down and five now. <laughs> Dustin Powell brings the play in. First and five now. The ball rests just inside the 30, 29 yard line. Band done another good job, didn't they? I mean, they did a great job. Great job, and all the girls look mighty pretty and Everything went off real good. Oh boy, Todd, go Todd Harper on his first carry of the night, dragging players up the middle. Todd Harper's going to pick up about 11 or 12 yards on his first carry of the night. 
See if we can go back and pick that up as he carries the ball from his. That's that little trap. H back just in the trap play right up the middle. Good, good job. Good job, Cagle. Cagle done a good job trap blocking down. Put the big guys downfield. First down and 10 now. The ball rests at the 18 yard line. First and 10, six minutes, 36 seconds. Trap up the Trap. Ooh. Die Rimple this time up the middle. He's going to pick up short yardage. We're going to give him about three yards on the play. That's good hard running. Somebody stepped up there and stuck you pretty good. Wallace comes out of the game as Powell is fixing to get the play. Carried in. It'll be second down and call it seven as we've got down close to the six-minute mark in this third period. Crossville line's leading 14-7 to seven and on the move. Got a wide out each way. Powell right, Harper left. Mikey Wade off the left side. Mm, mm, mm. Short yardage. Come on, guys. Push it in here. He's going to pick up a couple of yards. Boy, we've had the ball a long time, ain't we? We sure have. He's uh, 5.30 to go in this third quarter. And it's been all ours, but you can't get points for possession of time. No, but it sure does help when you still got the ball. It's third down, and we're going to call it a short five or a long four. Come on, guys. Down getting close to the goal line. Four got a man stunting in. Mikey Wade's got room, but closes up fast as he tries to cut it back. I believe. He he's, got it. He's going to be right at it. Yeah, he got it. Believe it is. I'm, I'm going out on limb. I'm saying he got it. No, Looks Ricky, like they're Ricky gonna, says he didn't get it. We'll go back and see it while they're measuring for the first down. He's trying to do all he could. I thought he was going to be able to bounce it out around the end. And he just kind of tucked it back inside. Somebody tripped him up at about the 10-yard line, and he couldn't do a whole lot but fall forward. It's a couple inches, look like. It's fourth down and inches now. The ball rests inside the 10, about the 9-yard line. Maybe we're going to be a sneak. Or get a dive in for one. On Ball's nine. on the 9-yard line. Fourth down and inches. Wallace comes up under center. They got it stacked in the middle. And Wallace carries it over the oh, left yeah. side. Oh, he likes to, oh, yeah. To the five. Wallace gets it down inside the five. We can do that all night. Looks like they're going to mark it right on the five. Be first and goal from the five. Four that minutes, 50 seconds. That guy's blowing people off the ball. Go see that surge once again for the line. That's what you got to have when you get down here close is the line blowing Luke people. Luke Cagle and Cash. That's a good job. Behind. Mike, you may have to call it. I can't see a whole lot. I'll lean up. You can see. Wade up the middle. It's down. Cross field. Mikey Wade carries it in from the five-yard line. Oh, boy, Lance. That's the way to do it. We'll go back, see if we can see that on the replay again. Mikey Wade bounced it to the outside and then found the crease and just hit the hole hard. Found his spot in the end zone. That ain't nobody blocked. That's, That's pretty fun. good. You get to go there, don't have to block nobody. So Mikey Wade now has three touchdowns on the night. He's trying to catch up with Dyrimple. Uh, Dyrimple had, what, four touchdowns, was it, last week? I believe it was. One week. May have been a week before last. I believe it was last week. Harper with a kick, and it's up. And they say it's good. So with four minutes and 32 seconds to go in this third period, Crossville Lions roar again. 21-7. to seven. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll get that. Four minutes and 32 seconds to go as Todd Harper kicks it off once again. Be a short kick to the 20. They'll take it across to the far right side back. of the field. Oh, no. Number 22. Oh, he no. has room Powell, on the sidelines. Dustin Woo! Powell finally gets him down. He caught it on the 20. 
and run back to the 23 before he started back up field. And gets down to the 35, 36. A pretty good wall set up over there. They do a good job with special teams. Sorry, the Coach Smith's always done a good job with special teams. Sure have. <coughs> While I'm thinking about it, let's say uh, hello to a Crossville graduate helping coach over there, Tony Bright. Yeah. Good friends, both of ours, coaching over, helping assistant coach over Sardis. Good guy. He sure is. Great guy. We appreciate his friendship. Glad to see him coaching. Get it, Mikey. Number 21 right oh. down the middle. Oh, he just dropped it. And it hits in and out of his hands as he is wide open at the 35-yard line. Bless his heart. That's true. We, we're reminded he's a... On the city council here at Crossville. Look at that. Just right out of his hands. Mm, mm, mm. Would you call that good defensive? That Secondary? Don't have that's, a, that's Jared Walker. That's the one that wasn't going to play. He's a little yeah, bit he's, hurt, uh, he's injured a little bit. Up. Coaches said he'd see limited action. Second down and 10 now. 24 takes the ball. Boy, Kago, he pushed it upfield. Good job, guys. He's going to be sacked back at the line of scrimmage. <laughs> so it's going to bring up third down and about nine. They're going to give him about a half a yard Kago gain on was the play. In on, uh, Kago's in their backfield. As Powell comes out, Moreland goes in the ball game, take his place. <clears throat> It's third down and about nine with three minutes and 40 seconds to go in the third period. They've got a wide man split both ways. Two men in the backfield. One man in motion, number 24. Going to be a pass play. Oh, oh. Right through the hands of Tex. Oh, Tex, then, then Josh liked to have it. Right through the hands of Tex Martin and then Wallace Doe for the ball and couldn't come up with it. Fourth down and nine. So the Sardis Lions on their first possession of the second half come up. Nothing to show for it. As we see it again. Takes Josh back. Oh. That's pretty good, good coverage. Just overthrowed his yep. man. Had him in the front. And then hit just short of Josh. Had yep. him in the back. Wallace. Uh, Wallace. That's uh, Dustin Powell dropped back to receive the punt. Ten of them up there, don't we? Pretty good punt. Once again, good punt. It's going to drop. Dustin Powell lets it hit right in front of him, and it's going to be down at the 15-yard line. Tough luck. That was a uh, that was nearly a 45-yard kick yep. with a roll that's, and all. That's a good kick. So that's where Crosswell will take over, first and 10. We appreciate Ren's Body Shop here in Crossville being sponsors on the program. Rodney L. Steeple and Accounting. Go up and see these folks. Wilkes Tire and Battery out in Albertville. Beam Central Vacuum of Sand Mountain. And over in Painter, David Hogg Harris Motors. Let these sponsors know you appreciate them bringing Crossville Lines Cable 2 Sports to you each and every week. Mikey What's Wade off move? the left side. Is that spin move? Going to pick up about three yards on the play. Two or three, yeah. We may have saw him do more spinning tonight than we have in any one game so far this year. Sarge got a good ball club. They sure do. I don't think their their record really is indicative of how good of a ball team they've got. They've had a pretty tough schedule. Yeah, they have. I don't know exactly who, but uh, got uh, I know the Emerson Sansom. I had to play Emerson Sansom. Good shot of the junior varsity cheerleaders Sylvania out. Sylvania, too. They played yeah, Sylvania, Yeah, they played too. Sylvania. We know how tough they are. Mikey Wade off the left side. He's going to be about a about a yard short. Yep. Pick up maybe about, two yards. Pick up about seven. We want to remind everybody also to watch the uh, replay of the Crossville Lions football each and every week, Tuesdays at 6 p.m. and Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Also, for those of you that work maybe swing shifts, you're up early on Wednesday mornings. Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. right here on local cable channel three. Brought to you by Cable 2 Sports Network. Third down and one now. Pitch back to Mikey Wade off the right oh, side. He's going to have running room down the sideline. Oh, line. one man. Just couldn't break it. He's got his first down.
We've been we've been reminded that because of the halftime, the homecoming events, the ball game is going to be the taping of it is going to possibly be up to about three hours in length, which may mean they may start the ball game earlier on cable channel. So it may be beginning at like five o'clock on Tuesday. So we just want to remind folks about that. Crossville is going to take a timeout. That'll be their first timeout in the second half. We're going to take one. We'll be right back. Crossville leads 21 to seven. We're back. One minute, 28 seconds to go in this third period as the Crossville Lions taking on the Sardis Lions here at homecoming 1996. It's first and 10, Crossville. Oh, no. Dalrymple right straight up the middle. He may be gained a yard on the play. Can't tell who made that stop, but it was a good stop. Mike, I got the uh, floats wrote down there if you want to uh, share with everybody on there what the uh, winners of the All play right. were. Elementary. Third place was the sixth grade. Second place was the second grade. And the first place goes to the kindergartens, Disney. Hey, that's good. I got a boy in kindergarten. You got I got a girl in kindergarten. Right. Yeah, we did good. We did got good. a great class coming up. Yeah. Hey, there's about 105 of them, I think, <laughs> ain't there? How many kindergartens, Butch? 105? Good job. Who was that? So Wallace... Oh, okay. Good Wallace job. takes the ball straight up, up the middle. Up. Pick up about, about seven, eight yards. Seven, seven, yeah. And in the high school, third place goes to the 10th grade. Second place goes to 7th grade. And first place goes to the seniors. <laughs> They'll be tickled about that, won't they? Sure hey, will. they had a good float this year. That's good. They I had every it. float there, Morris, was great. I won't say that. They were good. And I think it had a lot to do with the beautiful weather we had this week. We well, had that's good. beautiful weather. And uh, good Lord bless us with that. So uh, we got penalty. I don't know what the we got are. three seconds on the clock before the uh, clock runs out. I don't understand what they ever. Both teams are just kind of standing around. Look like they're waiting for the clock to run out. And the 25 second clock may have run out before the game. He don't clock call did. 20 seconds. He don't call the 20 seconds. How you got illegal procedure when they wasn't even up from the line of scrimmage? They're just standing there. Oh, I think, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think Luke, I game. think Luke, no, no, Luke went down and uh, grabbed the ball and then let go of it and stood up. Okay. And that's, once he touches the ball, see, he's supposed to be down in that position. So we've got three seconds to go, and they probably won't get to play off. Not going to. And it's going to bring up about third down and about seven to go as we're going to go into the fourth quarter. Crossville Lions leading 21 to seven over the Sardis Lions. We're going to return with homecoming fourth quarter right after these messages. We're back with the beginning of the fourth quarter. Wallace is going to go back to pass on oh. the first play, and he short hops it to Dustin Powell. Incomplete. He was wide open, too. Had him wide open right at his first down marker. But it falls incomplete, and that'll bring up fourth down so the crossbow lines don't start out with a bang here in the fourth period. 21-7 to seven is your score. We kept that last drive... Uh just about all the third this period. It's four and a half minutes ago. So, play 12 minute quarters. Got two men now back to receive the punt for Sardis. Johnson's going to have the kick. Man, he liked to hit. Pile Short up. kick. They've got a fair catch call for it to 42 yard line. So, that's where they'll start. Sardis Lions will take the ball over on downs as Crossville has the punt. Short punt and lands at about the 42 yard line, 43. Inside Sardis territory, and that's where they'll take over. First and ten. We need a turnover. I don't know what kind of formation we've got going right here, but it's different. You 
want to describe it. Quarterback's going to take the ball now and run it. Mm. He's going to pick up about five yards on the play. Now you're up seven. Plants Foodland, tell these folks you how much you appreciate them. Dino's Trucks and More, 24-hour record service. Colonial Bank in Albertville. Crossville Exxon. Gardner Insurance Agency. Cotton States Insurance right here in Crossville. Paul Smith Chevrolet. Wren's Body Shop. Rodney L. Steeple on Accounting. Wilkes Tire and Battery. We ask you to go by and let these people know how much you appreciate what they're doing to bring Crossville High School football to you each and every week on your cable channel 2 sports network. Same formation, opposite side of the field this time. It's second down and four. Quarterback fumbles the ball as it's hit back to him. It's ball. intercepted. Stephen Moreland comes in with the interception, 36-yard line. We'll go back and see it once again. They had Sardis had the same formation lined up. But Harley they well put the pressure on him. They sure did. I mean, he was hammering down on him. That might have been why he hurt it a little bit. And he well under through the ball, probably 10 yards, 5 yards. Stephen Moreland picked it off with ease. Dyrimple comes out of the ball game now. Johnson's in at fullback. 11-33. Ball's at the 37-yard line. Crossville lines take over now. Mikey Wade, left side. He's going to get it up to the 39. Pick up a short two on the play. So that gives Mikey Wade 30 carries on the night. He's getting up close to uh, about 170, 75 yards. He's going to wind up with a 200-yard night before it's over with. Think so? I think so. <laughs> We're early in the fourth period. Second down and seven. There he goes again, Mikey Wade. Man. Short pickup of another two yards. That's a hard way to make a living, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I want him to bust loose here. I'm going to call it about third down and four. Got one of the Sardis players having to take time out for a helmet. Got an ear pad knocked off. So he's got it back fixed now. Powell brings the play in from the sideline. Sardis sets their defense. Come on, guys. Johnson's still in the backfield for Dyrimple. Mikey Wade's back behind him. And it's a pitch back off the left side to Mikey. No, I ain't working. He's going to lose a couple of yards. We're going to lose a yard on the play. So that's going to bring up fourth down in about five. Maybe five and a half. And the punt team looks like it's coming in. That just wasn't a good looking series of downs for the crossville lines. Number 58 goes rushing in. Will Rogers. Two men back in punt reception. Receiving again. A little bit better punt this time. Team Kegel. Number 24 oh, takes the ball. He's going to be down Michael after Banks about a two-yard pickup. So it's going to be down at the 37-yard line. Sardis Lions take over right there. Nine minutes, 36 seconds to go in this ball game. Crossville Lions lead 21-7 in homecoming 1996 here on the Cable 2 Sports Network. Sardis Lions coming out in first down formation again in some kind of offset formation. Trying to throw back across the field. Woo! Ball tips off the fingers of the receiver, incomplete. About a 20-yard pass downfield on the opposite sidelines. I don't know what's going on out there. Try to explain that formation for us. I can't. They got their linemen, except their center, I guess. The linemen off to one side. The receivers, and they can't go downfield. And the receivers are all the way on the other side of the field. All right, they got a center and what looks like a tight end. They got, two one, receivers, they got one back out here, number 22. Two receivers on the right, and the rest of the line are all the way over here on the left. And the play, pass play is complete. 
over to the 45-yard line. That'll be a pickup of about six yards. <clears throat> We'll go back and look at that once again. I'm sure there's some kind of logical reasoning behind this. But it hadn't worked yet so far, whatever it is. That's going to bring up third down in about three. Three and a half once again. Sardis comes in out in that. We need to name that something. What's a good name for that? <laughs> I don't know. Offset. Quarterback's going to try to throw it again. He's going to run for a first down and be knocked out of bounds. Inside crossable territory. He's knocked out at about the 46-yard 46, 46 line in crossable territory. <clears throat> so he's going to run for a first down, pick up about 10 yards on the play. It'll be first down for the Sardis Lions. We've got eight minutes and 42 seconds to go in the ball game. Crossable leading 21-7 at homecoming. Back more to a conventional, and now they're all back to a conventional set. One man in motion, 21, comes right. He's going to take the end around. Takes, takes, takes did a good job, Ben. Tried to fight off his block, fell back into the, the runner. Going to pick up about four yards on the play as we go back and look at it once again. It'll be second down and six. He just comes around on an end around, sort of. guess you could call it a reverse. Good hustle. Takes Martin, comes in, makes the stop. Once again, offset formation, quarterback's back. That's a big old quarterback, number 10. Mm -hmm. Big, strong guy. And he's once again going to try to throw the ball. Got a man open over on the right sidelines. And it's complete to a, for another first down. Mm. Picks up about 10, 12 yards on the play. <clears throat> they got it working now. We'll Tangle, go back and look at it again. Tangle hit him right when he let go of it. We're getting good pressure on him. But uh, he didn't want to come too fast because of... We're getting good pressure on the quarterback, but the receivers are still being able to get open and shake loose. Once again, offset formation. All the linemen over on the left, two receivers right, two linemen up on the line of scrimmage where the ball is, and one, one man in the backfield, number 40, number 10, is just going to take it down and run it. Mm. He's going to pick up about six on the play. So, Mike, we see, we see from this formation, there's a lot of things they can do from this formation. Yeah, there it is. Pick up it's, about seven. There's David Bowman. I was dressed up in street clothes. He's out again this week. It sure is. He's coming along real good, they say. We hope and pray he'll be back in the game before too long. Second down and about three. Offset formation once again. Linemen are all over to the left, all the way to the sidelines. You're going to have a center and one lineman at the ball. The 22 is fixing to back up here. Yeah, and catch take it. A, take and a screen, and there's going to be four linemen out here blocking for them. we got three guys. I've been expecting that. Quarterback drops back again. He's going to be rushed. He's he got nowhere to throw it this time. It. And it Woo! falls incomplete. Almost. Zach liked to pick it off, and then they liked to caught it. Sure did. Quarterback had to run for his life, and then almost got picked off. Boy, he had some rushers coming down his face that time. Mm -hmm. He didn't have anywhere to go with it. It's third down now in three. As we've got 7.28 to go in the ball game, Sardis pulling out all stops. I bet that quarterback likes that standing there and them three guys coming right at him. Ain't nobody touching him. You wouldn't want him to trip over his shoestring right quick, would mm. you? He'd have a face full of face mask. Black and gold style. Conventional set. Number 21 takes oh, it on God. the end around again. Oh, boy, good, good job, Good job guys. by the defense. Way to stop it up in there. Looks like he... A whole slew of them are. Riding around in pain. Harley, Johnson, Martin. So number 21 comes up limping on the play, and they're going to take a timeout. Sorry to see us to regroup on fourth down in about three. Seven minutes, 13 seconds to go before the game's over. Crossville leading 21-7. to seven. We'll be right back with the last seven minutes. Homecoming, 1996.
7 minutes, 13 seconds to go before this ball game is over. Crossville leading 21 to 7. Offset formation once again by Sardis. They got fourth down and three. Quarterback's going to drop straight back. Now he's going to try to go up the middle. He he's going to be stopped. Harper he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Darnell. So the Crossville lines come up with a big stop as the quarterback tries to go back up the middle. Watch it once again. That looked like a designed play for the quarterback to drop back and then try to quarterback draw it back up the middle. And Crossville would have none of that. As now the Crossville lines will take over on downs at the 28-yard line. Johnson comes out of the ball game. Dyrimple will go back in at fullback. You'll probably see Crossville now just trying to keep the ball on the ground, holding on to it, run the clock out as much time as possible. And there's Dyrimple right straight up the middle. Pick up about three, four. Give him about four on the play. It's going to bring up about third down and six. Second and six. The yard marker yeah. across the uh, field's not, yeah. not been changed, so he's trying to correct that maybe. Second down and six. Pitch back, Mikey Wade off the right side. Very little running room, but he's finding it for a first down. Mikey Wade picks up about six on the play. Gonna be close to first down. He got a he dove for the first down, and he they may be gonna mark it where his knee hit. It is first a first down. first down, so Mikey Wade will pick up six more on the play. And that'll be a first down. Dusty Justin Darnell comes into the ball game. Playing tight in. Richie Andrews comes out. Richie comes out. Darnell in. That's pretty big, pretty good sized boy playing tight end. Yeah, that's a lot of meat. Wouldn't you like to see him just kind of chuck block and then go right down the middle and get a big pass play? <laughs> And Dyrimple's going to, I mean, Mikey Way's going to try to bounce it up the middle. He doesn't find any room in room anywhere. I'm going to give him, well, keep backing it up. Going to give him nothing on the play. That's only the third time tonight, Mike, that he's uh, either gained no yardage or minus yardage. It's pretty good. Yes, it is. How many carries is that? 34. Woo! 34 carries on the night. It's second down and 10. The ball rests just inside the 40. It's going to be a pass play. And he's got Todd Harper right here in the flat. He's got Get his down. first down. Picks up about 10 yards on the play. First down. boy. First just down. enough and a few inches to spare for a first down. So that's another first down for the Crossville Lions as they move the ball down to the 49-yard line. Pretty play right there. Real nice touch on the ball by Josh Wallace. Didn't have to force it in, just laid it right out there for Todd. Todd's a pretty big boy to bring down when he gets an open field with the ball. Once again, Darnell's Stays in the game and tight end. Todd Harper's right behind him. Eye formation. Die Rimple up the middle. He's got running room. Bowls oh, over boy. one. Good job. He boy. comes up for another nine, ten yard gain. Close to another first down. Nine yards. So that's going to bring up second down and short. Probably be less than a yard for a first. Gets the ball down inside Sardis territory. Johnson now comes into the ball game to give. Dyrimple, a little bit of relief. Zach Wallace brings the play in. We want to congratulate all of our seniors. They were recognized tonight during homecoming festivities. All the uh, cheerleaders, football players, band members. They've done a great job this year. Great leadership. First Mikey down. Wade gets his first down. He's going to pick up about five more yards. First down. First down. That's going to get the ball down to the 37-yard line. So they're going to mark the ball at the 37-yard line. First and 10. We've got four minutes and 14 seconds to go. 
Number 82 comes into the game, Jamie Gaines. Dustin Powell brings, brings the play in. <clears throat> First and ten. Boy, Johnson. Johnson up the middle. Good hard running. Johnson, Johnson. still on his feet. Johnson Woo! gets Good down job, to the 20-yard line. 16-yard pickup by Johnson. That's his first carry of the night. Pretty good average. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back and watch that again. He just wrapped that ball up, put a head of steam, and just kept moving his feet. Good hard that, running through the middle. that hole in there. Kept his balance at about the 25 and just kept going down to the 20. They've marked it just outside the 20. We've got motion. I believe they jumped off. Side. Yeah, they moved, but then it looked like our, our end moved. Justin Bowling looked like he moved, but I don't know if he's drawn off which one moved first. And it is. They're going to call it on Crossville. So let him back it up five more yards. It'll be first down and 15. And with three minutes and 27 seconds to go in this ball game, a lot of fans beginning to head for the exits, Mike. Yep. Get an early start getting out of the out of parking lot. First down and 15, three minutes and 19 seconds to go. Powell split all the way to sidelines right. Eye formation. Johnson at fullback. Once again, we've got Sardis. <laughs> poor, yeah. old, poor old Dusty, man. That's... <laughs> I'd like to see that replay again. He's, a, he, he's, at, the, he's at the mercy of the defense there. <laughs> he sure was. He knows now what them offensive linemen have been dealing with when he's on defense. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back and watch him get get a little bit of his own, taste of his own medicine on offense. Boom. Well, he, he really just get rolled backwards. He really didn't hit him. He Look at him. He gets up pointing. Like, did you see that? <laughs> yeah. It's first down and 10 now. Back to the 20-yard line. Johnson again, fullback. He's going to take the ball up the middle. He's got running room. He's going in. Touchdown, Crossville. Number 44, Johnson carries it in from the 20-yard line. <laughs> Touchdown. That his average. There it yeah. Is. He went to about 18 yards to carry now. So Johnson carries it in, and he's got a pretty good average, 36 yards on two carries with a touchdown. He'll maybe be wanting to do a little more of that. They like the taste of it. Yeah. It ain't always that easy, though. I know. I'm afraid not. Ask Dyerimple about it. Yeah. And Mikey. I mean, 30-something, four <laughs> yeah. carries. So, Crossville now leads with two minutes, 54 seconds, as Todd Harper is going to tee it up, try to get the extra point added on. High snap. And it's up, though. Hey, uh, that's good blocking. It's good. So, with two minutes and 54 <laughs> seconds to go, the Crossville Lions have roared again. 28 to 7 as we go back and see the touchdown run once again by Mark Johnson. Pure determination, good hard running. Good running. Number 15 wasn't going to catch him. He Couldn't bring drag him down. down. No, not him. 28 to 7 just score. We'll be right back. Todd Harper is going to kick a little squelch kick down inside the 30. It's going to bounce at the 25-yard line and be picked up there, trying to avoid the big run back, and it's going to be up to the 32-yard line. Got so Mr. The, Harris up here. You want to sell some cars, Mr. Harris? Yeah, I want to sell a few cars. Oh, okay. <laughs> got, Hog got Harris cars. up here in the press box. Got his suit and tie. Got his little flare on his lapel. Yeah. His daughter won the homecoming queen tonight. Homecoming queen papa. He looked proud of that, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Sardis Lions have the ball. 28 to 7. Crossville Lions lead. It's first and 10. 32 yard line. Tailback's going to take the ball off the right side. He's going to pick up short yardage. Maybe three on the play. Stop by Dye Rimple, look like. Go back and see the replay once again. Dusty Darnell gets knocked down to the ground. 
he pops back up and just heads right in on sure the tackle. Is. Good job. Good hustle there by Dusty. That's why our defense is really shining this year. Second down and six. We've got two minutes and 16 seconds. You hardly ever see one man make a tackle. That's true. You'll have to be in the secondary somewhere. Fullback. Tailback's no. going to take it. Fool me. Number 24 going to come around, get inside Crossville territory. Hold on, boys. And he's down at the 43 Darnell yard line. Making a tackle. Out of board, Dusty Darnell. Been a cable two sports production. Got a cameraman, David Edmondson, Ronnie Dobbins. Me and Mars doing announcing. Producing, directed by Jerry Darnell. Graphics and audio by Mark Jolly. Who was that other cameraman? Max. Uh, that's, that's yeah, Max a little Darnell. Brother. That kind of threw me off there. Jerry, sorry about that. I was, I was I busy keeping extra, up with these stats. Seen that extra name up there. Kind of got me tongue tied there, yeah. <laughs> Number 40 tries to take the ball off the right side. It picks was, up short yardage. It was going so fast, it was hard for me to read it. It's going to bring up second down in about seven. Pick up a three on the play. Bo Watkins going into the ball game. He's the senior. Dusty Darnell coming out, getting himself a good breather. Quarterback, new quarterback, number five going in, trying to roll around yeah, to the right side. Throws it down, and it looks like it's going to be complete down to the 30, 25 yard line. Out of bounds right there at the 24 yard line. So a big pickup. A new quarterback, number five, comes into the ball game. 57 seconds going to the ball game. Witt Jones, he's a junior. Comes in of the ball game. Go back and see that replay once again. We're going to call it about a 15, 16 yard pickup on the pass play. By number five. It'll be first down and 10 for the Sardis Lions. We're down under one minute. Down under one minute. 57 seconds to go before. Homecoming 96 comes to a closure. We appreciate appreciate everybody coming out to the homecoming game this year. Good sideline shot. Big old Dusty Darnell getting a little taste of offense and defense in his life. As we're back to 28 to 7, 57 seconds to go. It's first and 10, Sardis. WAVU just told me that Wade's got 210 yards on 39 carries. 210 yards for Mikey Wade. Pass play into the end zone, falls incomplete. I'd like to add him out here. So we're down to 49 seconds as we go back and see the play once again. Junior quarterback coming in, getting him a little play in time, some experience. That's a hard way to get some experience with that big cross for lines beaming down on you. So it's second down and 10 now. Got the offset formation, for lack of a better word of definition. That's what we'll call it. Whole bunch of linemen out here on the left. Quarterback's going to get it, number five. He's going to drop straight back. He's going to be under pressure. Oh, He's no. found him a receiver at the five-yard line. Falls to the four. 41 seconds to go. Sardis is going to take a timeout. Yeah. Player. But he caught the ball anyway. We're going to take a break. Well, leads 28 to 7. Sardis has a first down. Go to go. Number five. He's going to be. What have we got? Got two penalties. Same officials going to throw both his flags. And then we got a. And then we got another one over on the other sidelines. Three, three penalty flags on the play as the quarterback sacked on the play. We'll go back and look at it as they try to sort it out. Got a, I know we got one holding call, and then we might have an intentional grounding. Looks like he, that number 40 is trying to hold him. 
See, he's got a hold yeah, of him. Yeah, he's got right. a hold of him. <laughs> so that's that'll be one penalty. See, he's... Yeah, and then he tries to get the ball out, and that may be intentional grounding. See, he's throwing it to the lineman, so he's throwing it to right there. We got holding, intentional grounding, and I don't know what the other flag was for. Maybe he just thought. We take the intentional grounding, it's lost to Dale. Of course, I don't think Dale's going to have to do it. Probably the official over on the sidelines saw the intentional grounding. That's what his flag's for. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, and we fans are beginning to leave. Edit that out. It's second down and goal to go. The ball's at the twenty yard line. <laughs> Offset formation. Oh, uh, what do you call that? Nothing. <laughs> oh, what a hit! Is that Harley Well? Harley <laughs> Well comes in, and I mean lays him out on the sideline. We've got twenty three seconds to go, and it's going to be a loss of back to the. 29 yard line. And yeah, go back and look at that replay once again. Well, that's all right. Yeah, let's run it. Run it. Here it is. It's Kegel. Oh, man, that's pretty, that's pretty blunt, ain't it? So that's going to be a, a loss of about 9 yards. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, so it's going to be a loss of about 9 yards. It's going to be third down, goal to go. At the 29-yard line, offset formation, opposite side of the field. Harley Webb's directing traffic out there. Quarterback's going to take it. Number 10, he throws back across the field. It's incomplete. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Boy, we've got a lot of bodies flying around out there right now. <laughs> I mean, they David, just... They up here said somebody's just get hurt. Watch this replay. I mean, we got quarterbacks fixing to get hit. Wide receivers flying all over the place. Hits right on the sidelines. Todd Gale down, wasn't it? Oh, is that <laughs> Stephen Moreland like to come in and I mean laid somebody out and just missed him. It's fourth down, goal to go at the twenty nine hour line. You don't see that every day, Mike. No. <laughs> <laughs> We've got eighteen seconds to go and a formation that we ain't never seen before. Twenty eight to seven, Crossville Lions leading at homecoming. We never did come up with a name. And it's gonna be a weird play once again. Number 24 has got it. He's going to fall down at the 23-yard line. Yard ball right there. So Crossville's going to take the ball over. Next week, we're going to be at New Hope, another big area matchup. Join us over there. we got New Hope next week on the road. And who else on the road after that? Susan Moore, Susan Moore on the road. And then Fife on the road. Then Three Moore games on the road. Here. On the road again. Y'all done worse than I did. Come on, guys. Give us a break. Yes, <laughs> can't wait to get on the road again. <laughs> That's true. We got first down and 10. Crossville line's going to kneel That's down. That's the best play in the playbook right there. Number seven comes in and just kneels the ball down. We got six seconds to go. Crossville line's going to win at homecoming, 1996. 28 to 7. Clock has run down. We're out of time, folks. We thank you for staying with us. Appreciate Mike Bobo, my broadcast partner. Appreciate for all the you, cable, Marcy. too. People here in the studios, I guess you'd call it. Yep. Cameramen, 